How's it going everyone? In this video, I want to go over some interesting information coming from Embracer Group. They now have 180 games in development and Biomutant, that came out earlier this year, has actually recorded some relatively impressive sales numbers given the reception of that game. The game has sold a million copies, so we'll talk about that a little bit, and I haven't really given my thoughts on Biomutant too much, so this is my excuse of talking about it a little bit, and I'll give you guys my thoughts on that sales number figure and also hell let loose beta has been confirmed for playstation 5 we'll talk about that in just a little bit but first of all yes the embracer group does have 180 games in development right now and while that is an incredibly high number i think that's kind of to be expected they had like 160 games in development a few months ago they just seem to be expanding and expanding and they've gotten some funding as well that has let them expand and now they're looking to actually make a significant impact into the gaming ecosystem um it's not like they are constantly developing big budget triple a titles however they are making games that they're funding quite a bit but uh a lot of that 180 is going to be games that are a bit smaller but obviously a game that they put out was biomutant and that game has recorded a million in sales now, a million isn't that impressive of a number. You have to look at games like Marvel Spider-Man. That game sold like 3 million copies in its first weekend or first day or something like that. Um, but for a game like Biomune that did not get a great critical reception, a very bad critical reception to be perfectly honest and deservingly so in many respects, selling 1 million copies to me is still relatively impressive, man, for a game that... Had a decent amount of buzz going into it, but at the end of the day, the reviews came out, I believe, a little bit before the game itself was out, or it was the reviews were out day of. To still record a million sales, that is quite impressive. They also did know Chivalry 2 sold a million copies, uh, but, you know, Biomune is what we're here to talk about. And I played Biomune quite a bit, and I didn't hate the game uh, you know, with a, a complete vitriol. Now, well, should it have been a $60 game? No, it was more of a game that I think if it was $30, people would have been pretty happy about. I thought some of the visual elements were good. I thought the narration was absolutely abysmal. I thought the voice acting was really bad. I think those elements were really, really terrible. And the gameplay did have some fundamental issues, but I did like some of the thematics and the ideas they were going for. The different tribes you could join, the different moral, um, you know, morality decisions you can make. I thought that stuff was pretty well implemented, but uh, fundamentally the game was just a little bit sparse and again, a little bit clunky as far as the game play did go i like the idea of having a sword having ranged guns a lot of the different abilities were pretty cool and the ideas at a ground level i think were pretty good it's just that the execution was pretty off with the game are they ever going to make a biomutant 2 i don't know i doubt it but uh you know i don't know how the funding for this game was how much did it cost to really make this game experiment 101 was a brand new studio so obviously to establish a new studio that is going to take a little bit However, it was noted it managed to recoup its development and promotional costs within a single week as well as covering the cost of Embracer's purchase of Developer Experiment 101 and the IP itself. So, I don't know how we're doing this. I don't know how games are selling these well, uh, this well and then, you know, getting bashed from a critical standpoint and then still ending up making money within one week of the game being out. That is wild to me. I don't even know how that managed to happen. But maybe this is a case of people being super excited for the game leading up to its release, playing the game, then hating it, then selling it, or whatever. Um, but still, I'm sure Embracer Group, even if they're not happy with the reception of the game, I'm sure Experiment 101, if they're not happy with the overall critical reception of the game, they gotta be happy about the sales numbers for a brand new IP for a game that had a bit of buzz going into its release. But at the end of the day, new IPs are super hard to establish, and if you have a new IP from a brand new studio that, yes, it had some developers from existing games that were of note, like Just Cause, but new studio, new IP, it's selling enough copies to recoup its cost in a week, and then you're just making bread at that point, and it covered the cost of for them to buy Experiment 101. I mean, that's a slam dunk success. I can't really put it any other way. Do I think this opens the door for Biomune 2? I think if you look at it on paper, maybe, but like, I just think people played Biomune 1, and yo, it'd be a hard sell to get people into Biomune 2. I, I, I love some of the ideas in this game. Don't get me wrong, like I said, I thought it had a lot of potential, and I really like the promotion they did for this game. I think the promotion for this game was so, so well done, and I think people already liked it because, again, quirky and interesting design for a character. You have this customization options. 
you have all this different vibrance in the world and everything like that. For so from a promotion standpoint, I actually think they did a pretty good job of generating buzz for a new IP for him uh, from a new studio. I just don't think if that's gonna be enough to carry over for people to actually be excited for a sequel. To be honest, I don't think it is. I think they'd be better off in creating a new IP. But who knows? We'll see how it turns out. I definitely see the argument if you know, Experiment 101 hasn't decided yet, and they probably have as far as what they're working on next. Um, I could definitely see why it would be on the table for doing a sequel to Biomean, but let me know what you guys think on the potential of that. Next up, I do want to give you guys a heads up on Hell Let Loose, the development studio on their official Twitter account put out. Priority Intel, we're excited to announce that in the near future, we'll be running our first console beta regimen on PlayStation 5. Deployment date, TBA, sign-up details will be shared in the next couple of weeks. Be among the first on the console front line. Now, Hell Let Loose has been out for a little bit on PC, uh, going back to last month, but it was in early access for a little bit. Very positive reception on this one, 30,878 reviews on Steam, 85% of those reviews are positive, so that's pretty good. What you have here is a World War II first-person shooter, which if you go back a while, the World War II FPSs were not, uh, were, were something that were being spammed to death, and, you know, they went away for a while, and now it seems like, you know, it's a little bit fresh, but I remember back in my heyday, uh, yeah, World War II FPSs were done to death, but the game notes, join the ever-expanding experience of Hell Let Loose, a hardcore World War II first-person shooter with epic battles of 100 players with infantry tanks, artillery, a dynamically shifting frontline and a unique resource-based RTS-inspired metagame. A little bit of depth to the gameplay as well. It released at $39.99 on PC and $80 on Metacritic as well. So be on the lookout for that whenever that beta does drop. I will let you guys know and whenever we do get more sign-up details. But that's going to wrap up this one. Again, what do you guys think about this Biomune sales numbers? I find this so surprising that this game managed to recoup its development costs and do pretty well in just a week and now you know it's making a decent bit of money what would you guys think of a sequel is that completely off the table you think i think most people are going to be in my boat of thinking yo experiment 101 you made you did good as far as commercial sales for biomune or i should say embracer group or thq nordic but um Going for a new IP probably isn't a bad idea. Hell Let Loose Beta has been confirmed for PS5. Sign-up details are going to be coming soon for that. I'll let you guys know more on that as we hear more. That's going to wrap up this one. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.